This is a fantastic product. I've had this shotgun since I was a kid and my dad gave it to me. It's very important to me. So when the furniture started wearing out, I kind of didn't really know what to do because you know, you can buy a new Remington 870 for 250 bucks around Christmas time. So I wanted to keep this, but I knew I needed new pieces and Hogue does it right. I mean, I've got their grips on my Glocks. Their pattern is fantastic. The fit and finish is great. It feels right. I actually like this lower profile foregrip. I like this exposed more. I'm really surprised at how much I like it. It really does feel like a new shotgun. So if you are considering getting this, I would say you are definitely going to be happy with it. I like the 870 because it's classic. I like it because it looks classic, it's simple. And while there's a few stock options out there that I like, I wanted to go with this because of the classic look of the stock. So a little bit about this product. I got this from Amazon, comes in the bubble pack. Something I was very unsure about when ordering this was, you know, the fit and finish of these things. So I wanted to try to demonstrate here. I will use, I will use my AR tool. The pump, the fore grip is actually completely covered in that nice tactile rubber. It's also got this you know, classic Hogue grip pattern on it, which feels great. The stock on the other hand, keep in mind the recoil pad has already been removed from this. The stock has a hard plastic, well, the stock has a hard plastic finish through most of it, except right here on the grip, it has that molded rubber. And again, it has that classic Hogue grip pattern, which is just, it feels really nice. It's a really nice product. And something else I will say, the recoil pad on the original stock, the Remington recoil pad, it's not really a recoil pad, or maybe it's just so old that it's dried up, but this thing is, you know, there's not really much relief here at all. It's kind of useless. The Hogue recoil pad is very soft. I was really, really surprised at how much better this is. There's a few things to consider when swapping out these stocks. First of all, this is the screw for the original stock of an 870. This is the screw that comes with the Hogue stock. Not only are they different lengths, but they're just completely different in every way. One of them is a 7 16th bolt and one of them is a flathead screw you'll be removing this in a different way than you're installing this so what you're going to need is a 7 16 you just need this length you need this distance on the replacement stock on the hogue because the screw is a lot shorter so you need that you need a screwdriver you need a phillips head and a flathead both stocks have Phillips head screws in the recoil pad. So we're going to start by pushing the screwdriver through the rubber. Making sure you have a nice seat in the Phillips head. So once you have one screw off your original stock, I just sort of spin it. It's easier than getting this back down in there. So you've got the original recoil pad off the original stock. At this point, the flathead screw is gonna be pretty pretty far down in there. So you'll need a long flathead screwdriver to get in there and get that screw unscrewed. Once you've done that, this is what you will be left with. So to get the new stock on, you're going to have to do the same thing to the new stock because this comes screwed in. It's Phillips screws. Do the same thing, get this off. So to put this new stock on, I would start with it just like this. 
take this piece. You don't need your ratchet or anything yet. Take this piece, get your new shorter screw, the Hogue screw, put it in there. And then look down, that's the hole that this screw needs to go into. And so get that in place first. So it went through and that's attached. So you can see, now I have that in place and I have access to it. So make sure you keep a little bit of pressure on that to keep that screw in place. And then slide the stock onto the shotgun like that. And from here, you can just kind of hand tighten it because you know it's where it needs to be. All right, so that's good to go. It's attached, but we want to get the ratchet on there. Screw it in a little more. We don't want to go too tight with it. And that's plenty. We're good to go. Make sure you get your ratchet out of there. So now this is attached. This is good to go. We've got to put the recoil pad back on really quick. Now you can see the holes there that you want to line your screws up with on both sides. Get it nice and snug. Again, not doesn't have to be crazy snug. Then make sure you do the other side. And we are good on the stock and recoil pad. This part's finished. And that's the easy part. The harder part of the process is up here. It's getting this off. And unscrew this end cap right here. Once that is once that is removed, take the barrel and pull it off. So now you have a barrelless 870. So if you look in here, right here, this bolt right here, that, in most cases, this will require you to use a tube wrench to remove. If you see those grooves, now, I was lucky enough that I knew for a while that I was going to replace this stock set. So I happened to be somewhere where someone had a tube wrench. And while I was there, I used the tube wrench to loosen this. So I can actually unscrew this with my thumb. Some people will be lucky enough to be able to just loosen this by hand. Some people will actually find that this is rusted on, which is, you know, a bit of a problem. Hit it with some WD-40 and get a hold of a tube wrench. But all you've got to do is get that bolt off. So this ring came from right there. And this is the only thing keeping your foregrip in place. So with those two things off, we're gonna put this aside. We're going to take the Hogue foregrip and we're going to put it over the end. We're going to slide it down in place. Now, something to note about this, it's a much tighter fit. And remember, we pulled the pump all the way down. So we're going to pull this all the way down to where those grooves are going on, the e on either side of the receiver. And then we're going to take this, slide it back over. And I'm going to start screwing it in. We're going to get that ring into place and start threading that back down to where it needs to be to keep this on nice and tight. So I've got that ring fingered tight, pretty tight. It's as tight as I need it to be. And this is on there. So now all we've got to do is take the barrel, put it back in the receiver, making sure to line this up so that they're in the same place. We've got that done, barrel's flush, it's ready to go. Going to take our end cap, screw that back on the end. 
Make sure that's nice and tight. And that is it. Now, something to keep in mind about this. If you were someone whose arms are a length that already give you difficulty in pumping an 870 shotgun, this will make it harder. As you can see, these are very different sizes. For the money, it's a pretty spectacular replacement for the original furniture on an 870. And it has a, a sling spot, which is nice.